Nah, what's up? Straight from the D, six five, grow side. You know. Um, I actually just had a performance last Friday at TSU Spring Fest. That bitch was pretty tea. Um, met, ran into Young Al. He from um Houston, you know, doing big things. And me and him kind of took a lab on some. So yeah, every time I perform, you know, I always make sure I network. So. Um, college, college, man. The experience has been a movie. I swear to God, it's been a movie. <clears throat> when I say I don't seen it all down here, bro. But socially, um, I ran into Jordan Williams, um, Beyonce Daddy, Mr. Knowles. Um, I done ran into. Zero, like a lot of old rappers, you know. Uh, this college is really like just a finesse to put you on to bigger things. Like whatever you need, like dealing with your major, they just gonna shoot you to the top. Like they gonna put you in in the door out to connect. So yeah, the socially, like college is really the place to be, and I'm really glad I came to this bitch. Man. Yeah, I did. I did too. The first one was called Used to. I had I had actually just did that song that night before that um show. Like I just came with some quick. I like I was just gonna do some new shit. So I did that first. Then the second song, Recipe to Greatness. Me and my boy John Doe. Um, he from Chicago, and I made him do this. I made him do two issues. We all got the same major. Um, major ERM Entertainment Recording Management. Um, but yeah, me and him, we got a lot of shit going on too. Building up a label and um, yeah, that song. When that song comes out, it's gonna, it's gonna open some ears for real. The name of the label, Ordinary the Legendary. Um, <clears throat> so dealing with that, I'm getting my niggas from back home on right now. So first, I'm building myself up. That I already got that down pack. Um, I'm just trying to um, take in the knowledge I done got from college, you know, applying it, applying it, actually execute, because niggas just talk, they don't actually execute shit. So, um, we got trademark, got all that shit handled, um, copyright. Um, so, we got our first two producers. Um, we got like four artists. Um, you know, we getting all the paperwork together, because ain't shit official without paperwork. And so that's that's going good. It's it's a start though. It's all a start. Um, I started I started actually rapping in the cafeteria at school. And I was thirteen. Started by thirteen. Um, then I was I was like recording. I had my iPad playing the beat, and I had my phone recording, and I'd be rapping like that, and I'd put out songs like that. I don't know why I did that shit, but that's the only studio I had. And people people jamming that shit, like walking down the hallway jamming that shit. I'm like, bro, that quality trash. I'm, like, I'm not even a rapper for real. And they're like, bro, take that shit serious, take that shit serious. I'm like, man. I'm like, nah, that ain't me, that ain't me. Cause I was really like, I don't, I don't even want to get on that. But I was living a bad life back then, yeah. Man, that's that's the key to that's the key to success really like whoever you hang around with bro because i started off hanging with niggas that just wanted to party smoke fuck bitches all day and so that's all like we were doing and i wasn't getting nothing done in life and then i got down to college doing the same shit doing the same shit and so i ran into the dude that's, that's on the song with peter gray and john Doe ran into him we chopped it up, talked business, and then he introduced me to some other people, and yeah, that, that kind of changed my whole mindset. Like the people I hang around with now, like they all business orient oriented, yeah. Like my whole mindset has changed. So my circle real tight. I say it's like six, seven people. My circle, circle real tight. Um, 
I recorded my first song in a, in a fish studio like 2016. And the first song was called Young and Reckless. Uh, it was a little freestyle. That bitch, that bitch was kind of jumping. Uh, I, I didn't really like my voice on the mic and shit, so I, I just stopped rapping after that. And then everybody was hearing that song, it's like, nah, bro. Like, nah, you gotta keep going. You keep. Like, I, I see big shit and stuff. Here. Like, I hear that a lot, like, all uh, you chose and all that, but I don't really be listening to it. But now, you know, I'm actually starting to, yeah. I got a lot, bro. I'm, I'm actually sitting on, like, 60 songs, if you want to be honest, bro. Like, I'm just waiting on the right time, and the right time is going to be the summer. This summer, everything gonna jump. Everybody who wanna blow, everybody who really working, they gon' they gonna get there. And so, this summer, I'm gonna have a tape dropping. But for right now, I'm just gonna drop a couple singles, just you know, let the fans know I'm still doing it. I'm still. Yeah. SoundCloud, B Slime with a dollar sign. B Slime. Uh, um, uh, actually, I was on Instagram. I posted a picture, and um, I think I was in a picture with my homie, and he was like, he was like, look at the two young rappers, B Slime and Young Benzo. He named the other one Young Benzo. I'm like, B Slime, like that's kind of case. Like I think I, I like that shit. And so he was like, you know, just make this your rap name, whatever. I'm like. You know, I might, my, at first my shit name was B Cash. I don't know why I chose that shit. But, uh, so I ran off of B Slime. And then I actually turned Slime into some Slime simply living in my element. So I actually came up with a phrase because everybody be asking me, like, you a blood? You a blood? Like, you know, I'm just simply living in my element. That was Slime. And then B, my name, Brandon. So, you know. But, Uh, social media, uh, B Slime One, Twitter, B Slime One, Snapchat, BJ underscore money. No. That's about it. Chinchilla fur, yeah, she came from a polar bear. I don't care, fucking I pull her hair. I was broke, nigga, you ain't even know her name. No more rules, yeah, that's what I ain't playing for. Yeah, nigga went through the struggle. I had to get it out the most. I ain't do this shit for nothing. All a nigga know a hustle.